In the earliest days of the uh, wax cylinder, um, all of the cylinders had to be recorded manually. In other words, you wanted to make a reproduction of a cylinder, you just recorded several cylinders at a time. They might have up to 10 machines lined up at each recording session. So you can imagine how boring that must have been for the artist. They later came up with a uh, method by which they used something like a pantograph to write along the grooves of the uh, cylinder to etch other cylinders. But uh, that really produced lousy recordings. But it wasn't until around 1900 that they came up with a way to actually mold the cylinders. This is the Edison gold molding process. Very ingenious. This is what a molded cylinder looks like. Again, you have like your artist on the front. If you're lucky, you had your name in an Edison record on the front of the record. Usually it was just announced in the beginning. But the way they reproduced these signals, these cylinders, was first they would cut a standard wax cylinder. They would then put it in a vacuum changer and then sputter gold or silver a thin layer of gold or silver on the cylinder to make it electrically conductive. At that point, they would then plate it with copper to produce a thick coating. At this point, they had their mold. But still, how do they get things in and out of it? Well, it turns out the mold, the cylinders themselves, were tapered. The material they actually made these cylinders with was not wax, but a metallic soap that actually shrank when it cooled down. So you would inject your liquid uh, wax or metallic soap in, it would cool, and then pop right out of the mold. Perfect copy. Took them years to perfect the process, but there it is. Later, they were able to come up with a far better material, which is actually a celluloid. This is the so-called blue amber roll cylinders. They're actually beautiful. Look at it. It's a beautiful shade of blue. Some of them are lighter blue or anything else. But still produced by a molding process, the same sort of molding process, but a far more uh, durable record, and also a four-minute record as opposed to a two-minute record. This is, a, uh, this is the, uh, from 1913 on, Edison produced the blue ambrol cylinders out of a celluloid-like material that they actually had to license. And uh, these were four-minute records, as opposed to two-minute records, and made out of far more durable material than the uh, metallic uh, uh, soap that they used before for the other cylinders. And these could be also played with a diamond stylus, which allowed much more volume for a cylinder. Some of these are a little scratchy, so... Ah, oh, yes. This is one of my favorites. A lot of these uh, records are pretty bizarre, but this is a whistling record over the waves. Again, notice how I'm handling this. This is the way you handle a cylinder record. You just put your fingers in, don't touch the grooves. He's had a loading gate going like this. Close the loading gate, snap it down. This isn't the reproducer over the record. I think she's wound up enough. We'll put uh, a horn on it and let it rip. I'm a little cautious when I'm winding these up because the springs do break on these. Feels about right. Whistling so long over the waves wall by John Delmont, Edison Records. 